Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're having one of my favorite side dishes, which can also be eaten like a filling salad. The texture and mouthfeel of this one may be unfamiliar to the uninitiated because it feels like jello, but it's a savory dish. This is a very fun food to buy at the Korean grocery store, and if you offer it to your kids from a young age, they'll take to it right away. It's made from the starch of acorns, so it's close to a whole food, and a whole lot better than the sugar-loaded food product we call Jell-O. I love Jell-O, by the way, but let's be honest, it's not a healthy thing to eat on the regular. So we're going to cut this to bite-sized pieces. That's the way I've seen it most often at restaurants, as well as the way my mom does it, in kind of smallish, rectangular pieces, and that's what I've gotten used to. But hey, no one's stopping you from getting creative. There are more ways to eat totorimuk, but this is the fastest, easy way to enjoy them. And this is an easy go-to for a simple meal or snack. It should be staggered for an aesthetically pleasing presentation, so my clumsy self is trying to show you. But you know, sometimes we just cut it up and eat it in the unnatural shape of that circular mold. And this is really why I love it. Three ingredient dressing and boom, the kids will eat it. Soy sauce, sesame oil, and toasted sesame seeds. Oh, and seaweed sheets. But if all you've got is soy sauce and sesame oil, that's fine too. Been there, done that. I've even seen a recipe where it's tossed with only salt and sesame oil, so you can go as minimalist as you want, really. Thank you, as always, to my awesome mother-in-law for roasting the sesame seeds. I should really learn and do that for myself. It's a nice garnish to have on hand for sure. And crush up some of those seaweed sheet snack things from Costco. You can go with seasoned or unseasoned. Seasoned just means it's been oiled and salted. Make do with whatever you have on hand. These are the usual suspects I will pick up at the Korean grocery store for a quick lunch. I can serve right away when I get back home. Doturimuk kimbap deep fried squid. Is it the absolute healthiest thing to eat? Deep fried squid as well. Deep fried. Kimbap made from a store will usually be cooked with cheap oils and sauces with added sugars. But hey, the kids eat it, which is saying something, and I save myself from a cooking session. It's all about balance, baby. Show me your happy plate. Happy feet. Let's see. Mine is the one with the nose. Oopsie. Look at mine. Mine is how sweet. Make a nose one too. <laughs> and then there's a sad one. Another thing I tend to pick up now is quite a surprise to me because I don't really like dal, which are desserty cakes made mainly from rice flour. But my kids love this shit. It tastes rainbow. It tastes like a rainbow because it's rainbow dal. Yeah. Now let's check out how Opa does this one. Opa wouldn't ever think of buying this voluntarily, I think, but he does enjoy it if it's in the house. And I feel good about it because it's a ready-made food product done with little processing. I think the powder is made by just boiling and drying acorns and separating the starch mechanically. And the way to make this is to just dissolve it in hot water and setting it in the fridge. I bought the powder, by the way, which I hope is only acorn powder and not with added cornstarch. So I'll try to make it from scratch next time and show you. Here's a more traditional or typical Korean style dressing, which has the addition of gochugaru or Korean red pepper powder, which is obviously not for little kids as it's got a kick of spice, but you can also chop in some garlic and slice in some green onions as well. I've noticed as not only someone unfamiliar with Korean cooking, but as a pretty much non-cook in general, and that's that I think a lot of sauces and dressings are mixed prior to actually pouring on the food. I've never really thought about it, but oppa does it very naturally, and I guess with kochukaru you kind of want to wet it down so you're not coughing on the powder. That looks legit. It looks quite nice, right? This is why I don't cook. I just accept my limitations and I'm totally okay with letting others cook food when I don't have to. So for the kids, let's omit the spiciness and just go for soy sauce and sesame oil. Again, I just get it on there with the thought that it tastes the same and Opa is giving me flack for not pre-mixing. Whatever. 
Here's Opa doing it the right way. Pre-mix the sesame oil and soy sauce. I don't know if I would do the seaweed sheets first because I like them crunchy at the top, but whatever floats your boat is fine. And there it is, a nice cool jelly side dish that's yummy yummy good. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Daddy, I love me. Mommy, I love me too, mommy.